Charles County bar and restaurant curfew is over as coronavirus cases soared late last year. It banned the sale of alcohol after 11 p.m. This sudden change comes after businesses sued the city and county. And tonight our Caroline Hecker reports that this is easy. This easing of restrictions doesn't mean you should let your guard down. The attorney in this case says a turning point came last week during the deposition. In it, the county executive and the public health director testified. And the attorney says that testimony by and large supported his client's claim that the original curfew was arbitrary in nature. Kyle Dent of Shamrock's Pub and Grill in St. Peter's is excited to welcome his late night crowd back into his restaurant. Dent says he lost nearly $27,000 in just one month as a result of the early curfew. We were kicking people out at 11 o'clock that we, and we earned that business that the people were wanted to stay. And, we're, and when we were keeping people safe, that was the hard part. You're just watching, you're just kicking dollar bills out your front door. Dent, along with Tony Bethman, owner of Tony's on Main, filed the lawsuit against St. Charles City and County. The crux of the issue, they say, the Ameristar Casino and its ability to serve alcohol well beyond 11 o'clock. The casino didn't have a lot to do with it. It had everything to do with it. And if they would have shut down the casino to drinks at 11 o'clock, none of this would have ever happened. Last night, County Executive Steve Ellman sent this letter to restaurant and bar owners. In it, he points to a plateau in COVID-19 cases, saying, quote, During the month of December and continuing to this date, there have been no spikes in the number of cases in St. Charles County, and hospitalization rates have not increased. Both the men and their attorneys say there is no way of knowing for sure if what was discovered during the deposition led to the county's reversal. But regardless, they are pleased with the outcome. If I spent the money that I did on the lawyer, and got the ban lifted, it's been 100% worth it. The lawsuit is still pending, and while the curfew has been lifted, the restaurant owners named in this case could seek damages from both the city and the county. In St. Charles County, Caroline Hecker, News 4.